Welcome back to Turk Fortune, I'm Ede and in this video we will focus on filing a lawsuit after plastic surgery in Turkey. Before we start, let me remind you that in our previous video we covered some basics about medical malpractice lawsuits. You can check our article for detailed information or simply watch our previous video. Malpractice lawsuits based on aesthetic operations or plastic surgery can be complex, involving various legal aspects. To explain the specific case for plastic surgery, first we need to talk about the legal background a little bit. According to the Turkish law, malpractice lawsuits may be filed based on four legal grounds – tortious act, breach of a contract, unauthorized work or service failure. In this video, we will provide an overview of the key factors and mainly focus on malpractice lawsuits based on breach of contract, since that's the case with plastic surgery. First of all, what's a malpractice lawsuit based on a tortious act? Basically, if there is no contract between the doctor and the patient regarding medical intervention, your legal ground for filing a malpractice lawsuit can be tortious act because any intervention made by the doctor to the human body in violation of medical standards is essentially considered a tort. For example, if you enter an emergency room of a private hospital in Turkey with the need for urgent medical care, you can sue the doctor who didn't take care of you according to the provisions of the Torches Act. Okay then, uh, what's a malpractice lawsuit for breach of contract? In non-emergency cases, a contractual relationship between the patient and the doctor is essential. The type of contract, whether a representation agreement or a contract of work, depends on the nature of the medical intervention. Let's start with the representation agreement. As a general rule, the doctor-patient relationship is considered a representation agreement. According to the law, the doctor is liable for damages arising from the lack of diligence during the diagnosis and treatment stages. On the other hand, if the situation can be considered as a contract of work rather than a representation agreement, the scope of the doctor's liability changes. So what is a contract of work? Medical practices that aim for the doctor to create a work in the human body are legally characterized as a contract of work. All kinds of prothesis, laser hair removal, beauty treatments and plastic surgeries are considered as contracts of work. To separate what kind of procedures are considered as representation agreements and what procedures are contracts of work, we usually give this example to clients. If you go to the dentist for a toothache and the doctor treats your tooth, it is representation agreement. But if you go to the dentist for prosthetic teeth and dentist applies dentures to you, it's a contract of work. Now that we know the difference in legal grounds, we will not dive deep into other legal details, but focus on malpractice lawsuits arising from plastic surgeries. Why is it important to determine whether it's a contract of work or a representation agreement for plastic surgery? When it's a representation agreement, doctors are liable for their medical negligence. On the other hand, when it's a contract of work, the doctor is responsible for the entire damage unless he or she is faultless. Moreover, in a contract of work, the doctor is liable for compensation arising from the failure to obtain the result, because a contract of work is where doctors undertake the obligation to obtain a certain result. One of the important features that distinguishes the contract of work from other contracts of performance is the responsibility for the result, that is, the commitment of the doctor to produce a result in line with the will of the patient. The doctor's promise to fix the patient's arched nose, to grow hair on the head where there is no hair, or dental prosthesis is considered as a contract of work. In the event that plastic surgery results in a defective way, a material or moral compensation lawsuit can be filed against the doctor who is at fault. Sometimes you can even sue the health institution where the intervention is performed or you can file a lawsuit against the insurance company. What is a defective performance in plastic surgery? If the result obtained at the end of the plastic surgery is not in accordance with the qualifications agreed upon in the contract or the purpose expected by the patient, or if one or more of the necessary qualities are not present, it should be accepted that defective performance has occurred. How much time do I have to file a lawsuit after plastic surgery? The statute of limitations for malpractice lawsuits to be filed against the private hospital or the doctor in the court of consumer 
based on a contract of work is five years. If the doctor is seriously negligent in medical practice, the statute of limitations may be extended to 20 years, regardless of the nature of the procedure. In short, in aesthetic interventions such as plastic surgery, it is essential that the doctor achieves the goal he or she has committed to. If you believe there had been a defective performance, we highly suggest you to contact lawyers since it's crucial to define the legal ground before taking any action. You can always contact us for further information. Thank you for watching Turk Fortune. Hope to see you on our next video.